What's interesting about this class is that you get to uh, really uh, craft your, like really create your own creation. You get to like take all the skills that you learn and then uh, and, uh, whatever is in your imagination you can create it. They, they would really get the opportunity to really design what they see in their head and do it the way they want to do it. Well, it helps you learn basic wiring and electricity flow. I know it helped me in science when we started doing an electricity unit this year. It, it's really also good just learning how to build things and take measurements. Well, I learned how to use a 3D printer and print this. We learned how to critique it and make it better. We learned how to take measurements and plot out this for the board. Each person in the room has their own board that they make. We used a thing called Inventor, and it helps us plot the points and make a, a chassis like this for our robots. We also used a coding program which helped us code which way the robots move and how they move, left to right and stuff. We learned wiring, we learned how to solder with soldering irons. Our first code was called Blink. In Blink, what we basically did was gave the robot commands to move through force. The second project was using a Bluetooth and trying and use it on a remote, on a, on a smartphone, an Android phone, and use it like a video game controller to move it. No, there, there are no prerequisites for the class, so, so students can come into this in grade 9 or in grade 10, 11, 12 with no prerequisites. What we're working on right now is ultrasonics. And basically using sound waves. So say if something comes about 20 centimeters in line with it, it backs up and turns the other way. If, if students return again in electronics or robotics, they'll build larger, more intensive projects, but still uh, that still retain many of the same skills. We go into engineering, architecture, oh, robotics, that's also a given. 